I'm Ricky the Busy Bee. Ever wondered who helped make the food you eat? The answer, buzzing bugs like me. I'm not just talking about honey, although we make that yummy runny stuff too. Think broccoli, tomatoes, apples. In fact, bees help provide about a third of what you eat, as well as bringing your gardens to life. We do this by spreading pollen between different parts of flowers and plants, allowing them to grow seeds and fruit, all while flapping our wings 200 times per second. In the UK, there are over 250 species made up of honey, solitary and bumblebees. But right now, we're in serious trouble. In the last 10 years, our UK population has shrunk by around a third. That's because our habitats are being destroyed, there's changes in the climate, and some hives are being attacked by viruses. Chemicals used to protect crops from insects have also been blamed for some UK species having disappeared completely. And it's not just here, the US recently added seven types of bee to its list of endangered species. But humans are taking action to help us survive. We all know the distinctive sounds of the honeybee. Have you ever wondered why they make that sound? Well, if you have, you should know that all bees make a buzzing sound because of the quick movements of their wings while they fly. Honeybees are invertebrates because they do not have a backbone, and they are part of the insect family. They are herbivores as they only eat plants. Here is a map showing the areas in the world where honeybees can be found. As you can see, they can be found across the globe, except for areas that are too cold. Let's take a look at the parts of a honeybee. They are insects, so they have a head with two antennae on top, a thorax, abdomen, six legs, and wings. Honeybees are important pollinators for a variety of floral species as well as fruits and vegetables. A pollinator is an animal that helps plants to make seeds or fruit. They move pollen around from flower to flower which aids in reproduction for that floral species. Honeybees live in groups called colonies. Within the colony, there are three types of bees. The queen, the workers, and the drones. The queen is the leader of the hive. Her main job is to lay the eggs that will hatch and prolong the life of the hive. The workers in the hive are all females and their jobs are to find food build up and secure the hive, as well as to clean and maintain the health of the hive. Likely, if you have ever seen a honeybee flying around, it was a worker as they are the only ones that leave the hive. The drones in a honeybee hive are all males and their role is to mate with the queen so that she can continue to lay eggs. When the queen of a hive dies, a young larva is selected and is fed a special food called a royal jelly. This prepares its body so that it will become a fertile queen. The queen bee can live up to five years. However, the workers live for approximately six weeks. The drones stay in the hive during the spring and the summer months 
However, during the colder months, they are kicked out of the hive and must survive on their own. Did you know that the queen bee can lay up to 2,500 eggs in one day? In a healthy hive, when food supply is plentiful and during the height of the production season, a queen bee is quite busy. Now, Let's take a look at the life cycle of a honeybee. Honeybees, much like other insects, undergo a complete metamorphosis as they progress through the stages of their life. The four stages of a honeybee's life cycle are the egg, the larva, the pupa, and the adult. In stage one, the queen of the hive will lay a single egg in each section of the honeycomb. These eggs will hatch in approximately four days. Stage two begins when the larva hatches from the egg. The adult worker bees will feed the larva a mixture of honey and royal jelly. Only some of the larva will be fertilized. The fertilized larva will go on to become worker bees while the unfertilized larva will become drones. After about nine days, the larva will stop eating and will create a cocoon for itself. Once the larva spins its cocoon, the worker bees will seal it into the honeycomb. While inside, the larva will grow all the necessary body parts to become an adult bee. This is called the pupa stage of the life cycle. After some time, anywhere from 10 to 25 days, the fully formed bee will chew its way out of the honeycomb cell. The bees will immediately take their place in the hive. If a new queen has emerged, she will go off to start a new hive or take her place in the current hive. Worker bees will start their duties and drones will ready themselves for their roles in the hive. Did you know that honeybees make honey as food stores for themselves? The honey we use as humans is actually food that was taken away from a hive. Beekeepers must remember when taking honey from a hive to only take a small amount so that the honeybees have enough stored food to make it through the winter months. Let's learn a little about how honey is made. Honey is made by the worker bees in a special way. 
The worker bees will go foraging for food on warm spring and summer days. They will go from flower to flower collecting nectar. The nectar they suck up from flowers will mix with a special enzyme in the mouth and will start to thicken. Once back at the hive, the worker bee will pass the thickened juice to another worker bee who will add its own mouth enzyme and will store it in a honeycomb. The bees will all then fan their wings over the honeycomb to dry out the moisture. Once this is done, they will seal the honeycomb over, almost like putting a lid on a jar. Honeybees play a very important role in our natural ecosystem. We depend on them to pollinate a variety of plants which will become food for us as humans. Wild bee colonies are dying because of habitat loss, changes to the environment around them, and changes in their food sources. Conservation efforts 